Hello and welcome to the September SU Global Share Fair Blog Hop. Um, my name is Gina Connor from Northern Ireland in the UK and um, I'm very pleased to be part of this uh, group of demonstrators. Uh, I this month we are featuring uh, designer series paper. If you hear me talk about DSP, it's the shortened version of designer series paper and uh, stamping up do a beautiful range of designer series paper um, which coordinates with our card and our ink and the embellishments. So um, I'm going to show you, put you down onto the desk and I'm going to show you the little project that I have made for this um, vlog hop. Okay. So this is um, a little clutch bag. Uh, the paper that I'm using or the suite that I'm using is from the Gilded Autumn. Um, I'll just show it to you in the main or in the mini catalogue. Here we go. There we are. So um, this is the range of papers that I've um, chosen for my project. It comes complete with a bundle, which is a stamp and uh, three coordinating itty bitty bunches, uh, punches, which are beautiful. And um, as you can see, these are the little itty bitty leaves on this card here. So um, one other thing that I'm actually going to show you today, um, you may have noticed on my project, I'm going to show it to you, um, I have a little scalp on my edge. So it was using this um, envelope die uh, which um, came with this um, bundle here but these are the dies down here can you see um, maybe a little bit off camera but there's a selection of dies to, to fit um, envelopes of different uh, sizes and a few little embellishments so I'm using this size today to fit my little box so and it's on page 40 in the mini catalogue so I'll just go back I'll show you my little project. So I've made a belly band uh, to hold it all together um, using this suite. Um, and inside I've made um, four little uh, quick and easy notelets with just a note on it. Because sometimes um, you need to just send something quick in, in the post. Should it be a thank you or thinking about you or anything? And um, I am going to show you that on one of the pieces of paper, I can show it to you here, um, we have all these little uh, images. And that's what I punched these out with. So these actually fit these images on here. Um, as you can see, I have already um, sort of been cutting away at them as you can see I've got loads left to do um, it's on the back of that paper there so I'll just show you some of them here that I've already pre-cut for for my um, project but it's just a matter of punching them out and within the stamp set you can stamp um, them in any colour but I just wanted to show you today about how versatile the um, designer series, series paper are this saves you stamping and um, it's just a matter of going in and cutting it out aren't they gorgeous? okay so we'll get started so as I said I made four of the um, notelets which fit in you could put six in probably but I thought I'd put four in and then there's probably room for a little treat as well in there so I'll show you how I got started or how I made this should I say so my designer series paper is this particular one here that I've chosen um, it's two sides it's got gold on this side and then this and it's really torn I mean how do you decide which paper that you want or which side that you want and um, the colours in this are just gorgeous so I've gone for this and I'm going to show you I've already cut it out already so my DSP measurements are 11 inches by 11 inches so I've used one of these for the belly band um, I cut a strip of the gold 
and then um, stuck this onto it and that made my belly band but I'll, I'll come across and show you the um, dimensions um, while I'm doing it so, okay so my measurements are 11 inches by 11 inches and I'm hoping that you can see okay on this so to score to make your uh, project um, we're going to score at two and three quarters and when you're scoring DSP um, it's not as thick as carbs so you don't want to go at it too heavy but you want to be firm at the same time so it's two and three quarter inches and eight and a quarter inches so okay so that's to that side then you rotate it 90 degrees like so and do two and three quarters again like so two and three quarter inches three and a half seven and a half and eight and a quarter now, just in case you want to see my measurements and um, sometimes it's easier to see these things written down in real life so this is what I was doing so you score first of all two and three quarters and eight and a quarter then you rotate your DSP 90 degrees and you score at two and three quarters three and a half seven and a half and eight and a quarter okay so that's all the scoring done so the next thing we have to do is um crease it all uh, you take your bone folder and give everything a good crease i know you're probably all saying to me why are you doing it on that side when that side so pretty but i discovered that whenever i was making it the box if i had done it that way some of your pattern would have been upside down on one side to the other side that's it's covering so it didn't really look terribly well so this is the reason why i went for the plain side This is the side here. This is the side. So you put it all together like that. Okay. And then what we want to do where these two score lines are here on the um, you want to nip it in at the corner like this and you want to bring this forward to meet to meet the line there. Is that showing it? No it's not. I bring it up here. So you want to nip this corner and make these two sides meet like so okay and then make sure that they're um, attached and it gives you a triangle fold inside which I'm just going to like that okay and I'm going to do the same on this side so you get your corner and you pinch it in and you go like that and that's how you make your box okay and you score on the other side like so okay then you want to do the same for this side here as well so you get your dsp and you give it a little um nip and really is what I'm sort of saying and you bring this up to your edge like so that's better if I do it down flat it's easy for me but it might not be easy for you to see so um I have a priest I can show you afterwards I can do this side as well so where this corner is you want to bring it up that is 
piercing like so. So where it's flat, and you have this bit here, um, you bring it round so the two sides meet, okay? And then while I'm holding it in place, I am going to, you can't really see there, just score it inside with my, okay? So that's how you make your box, all right? Was that clear? So I have it, it's folded in half, and I want to bring this edge here to this edge here. So just lifting up one side, and I'm bringing it over to that, and burnishing it down, okay? Like so. And then, that makes sense to you there? When you see it upright, so you do that and that. And that brings the front of your box, like so. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add glue and stick it all down. So where the edge is, the crease is, you want to do that side of it. Okay, and just this bottom triangle here, like so. And those are the bits that you want to stuck down. Like that. Okay. So, you might not see it here, but this is the crease line. So this is where you want to run your edge of your glue. And all up to there and up. And also this corner here, which is nearest your um, centre. Just run a line. Like so. Okay. And fold it in. Oops, need a bit of clay for the side there. Okay. So you've this bit that is um, open and that's your little bit for um, your box to hold your but what I'm actually going to do as well is I'm going to actually add a little bit of glue to these triangles as well so that it holds it firmly in place gives it a little bit more of a stronger feel now this DSP, because it's um, it's got gold foil in it, it's a little bit thicker than normal, so it's ideal for making something like this. So you can see where I put the glue, and I'm going to fold it up, and I'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure that it's all nice and flat. Yeah, like so. Okay. Um, probably before I did that, I should have actually scored these bits. Like so. And finally, I'm going to stick this little bit in here as well. It makes it all nice and neat. And in here as well. Okay. Hold it all together. Now the wet glue is definitely um uh takes a little bit of drying. So I am going to add a little bit of shape to mine. So I'm going to add this die 
to the top of my ledge just to give it a little bit of decoration. It's a very subtle little scallop and you line it up and I'm going to add a little bit of washi tape to it and then I'm going to just run the flap, front flap forward. Doesn't have to go the whole way in, and um, I lift it off with my washi tape, and we'll just use a little bit of scissors just to trim that little bit off there. Made. Okay. Just a bit of bubble there. So, isn't that sweet? Very simply made. And the belly band that I'm going to use for it, I'm going to put the wet one away at the minute. This is my dry one. So, my belly band is made up of one inch of the DSP which I cut along the side from it and I've added um, one and a half I think it is um, I'll just measure it is it one and a half one and a quarter one and a quarter of the gold foil and I have measured it or scored it should I say scored it here we go um, measurements so scored it at four four and three quarters, eight and three quarters, and nine and a half. And that gives you um, this to put around your, I take this off, um, that sits around your box nice and neatly like so. Okay, so I've had a little bit of the, um, tape to it and I'm just going to attach it to there. So I put my little join at the front of my DSP because I've pre-cut um, a gold foil uh, scalloped oval and I'm just going to put it like so. And then I'm going to stamp my image and um, it just says a little something which is a very general can you just see general sentiment and then I'm going to take um, my little bits of leaves you can really think I had stamped those they're so cute um, and soft and then I'm just going to arrange these I think I will put this on first of all so I'm just going to add two dimensionals to the back of my cream card and just stick it on like so and then use some glue dots and put these on with my um, nice and clean and simple. So I'm going to put the acorn on the top. Um, I did have a little bow made. I don't know where that has gone to, uh, but I just added a little bit of twine just to finish it off. Oh, and I added a little extra one down at the bottom. I knew I've made an extra one for some reason. Just stick that down there. So that's my little um, project for today. Um, it's all uh, in good timing. We have um, a designer series paper offer um, 
happening next month, starting on the 1st of December. Um, certain packs of the DSP um, are reduced uh, by 15%. So it's a great time if you're like me and you're a paper hoarder. It's a great time to get caught up. So I'm just going to turn you over to me again. Uh, so um, I hope you liked your project today. Um, I hope it wasn't too confusing. When you read back and look back on the measurements and watch the video with your folding, it's actually a quite a simple um, project to make. Uh, and it's a great way of using up your stash of DSP. And as I said, with that little um, paper with the uh, images on that coordinate with the punches it means that it's very quick and easy to get your embellishments made for your your cards and for your apples as well so i'm just going to show you what it's going to be looking like and i'll turn you back down then so thank you very much for um visiting with me today um i hope to see you again soon thank you goodbye